Like father, like son. His dad, Bill Dahlke, won a national title in 1974 with football. His son, Brad, closes it out for the Oklahoma Sooners. The anchor helps OU win their second national title in program history. What an exciting day for Oklahoma sophomore Brad Dahlke and his teammates. They're the 2017 men's NCAA team national champions. We're gonna have much more on Golf Central right now. Golf Central, brought to you by Titleist. Well, it doesn't get much sweeter than this. Coach Ryan Hibble and his Oklahoma suitors getting to hoist the new piece of hardware. They're taking back to Norman with them tonight as they're the 2017 men's national champions vanquishing. What was the defending champs in the University of Oregon? Hey there, welcome to our set on site here at Rich Farvis Farms. I'm George Savarikas with Golf Channel analyst Charlie Reimer and Golf Channel analyst Aaron Oberholzer. Guys, what a treat it was to watch. We were waiting for a lot of drama to see if the anchor match would close it out in the end. It was the anchor match. Brad Dahlke gets it done for OU. We, you know, as a fan of golf, as uh, both AO and I sitting here as former college golfers, I loved watching this day. I mean, it's as good as it gets. Uh, you get that final match to get to the 17th hole, national championship title determined right there. In fact, we can still hear them hooting and hollering up in here behind us. Uh, a lot of emotion in team golf. And, uh, you know, I, just congratulations to the guys in Oklahoma because uh, we all know that it's not a smooth uh, uh, path from uh, mm -hmm. starting a program to starting to think about getting a, to a national championship. There's a lot of ups and downs. It's not a smooth path to the top. So that's why you see so much emotion in college golf. Teams, a lot of times, they don't get along great all the time. You always got a little bit of friction here and there. But when uh, five guys and two coaches can come together and produce something special like a national champion, again, being someone who's competed uh, at this level in this event, I can really appreciate it. But I think the average golf fan out there can as well. And Aaron, to knock off the defending champs, it's got to be that much sweeter uh, for Oklahoma to dethrone what was the best? Yeah, I would think. I would imagine that they said, look, I would imagine Brian Hibble took their team and said, said quietly said, hey, guys, you got a chance to do something uh, that, uh, that that no one's done, really, in, in, in knocking off a defending champion, potentially, and, and uh, or at least in the match player. And he was able to do that, uh, tell his teammates, get him jacked up. And I thought that they, you know, one through five, I just had an idea that they were the more solid team, one through five. Oregon had its stars in Zhang and Clark, uh, but I just had a feeling that Oklahoma was just strong enough, and if it got down to that Brad Dahlke match, which it did, I just think that young man is destined for some really great things mm -hmm. in this game, and I think this is the start of it. I think he's going to make a fantastic pro as well if he can stay healthy and keep his head in the right spot. He's got all the tools, and uh, he proved that today and showed me a lot today, a lot of guts um, uh, coming down the stretch against a, a tough Solman Raza, but maybe a Raza that didn't quite have his best stuff. We can hear cheers right now for Oklahoma. <laughs> they were cheering early, and they were cheering often. Charlie, let's check out match one right out of the gates. They set the tone. We thought this would be a big match for Oregon with their stud freshman, Norman Jong, already named freshman of the year, taking on Blaine Hale from Oklahoma. Hale on the third hole for birdie. Well, these early matches are so important, and the early holes in the early matches can really set the tone, and that's exactly what happened here. Now on the 10th, two up. Hale just poured it on, three up at this point. And he was not stopping. 15 3 up, Aaron. Well, and this is to close out the match just for par. And you don't expect to make these. I'm telling you, there was some ugly golf today by both teams. The conditions were brutal. And sometimes you need to make some putts. And that's what he did. That was the first point on the board for Oklahoma. And that reverberated guaranteed through the rest of the golf course. Match number two Max McGreevy, Edwin Yee. We pick it up. Par four, fourth. McGreevy already won up. Uh, this from 212 yards, and uh, he takes this one right to the bucket. This is a heck of a golf shot. He's going to remember this one for a long, long time. He would birdie the hole to go two up. Both of these matches, they got up early, and they applied a lot of pressure on the Oregon Ducks, and it seemed like they were in the driver's seat. Par 4, 12, McGreevy two up. Well, another beautiful swing by Max McGreevy here, the only senior on that Oklahoma squad. Leading his troops, fantastic stuff right there, and that would lead 
to another win to go three up. 16th hole, McGreevy, three up, trying to close out the match. Yeah, the match is dormy, and basically all he needs to do is get this up and down to win. And that's exactly what he did. Uh, great touch play right there. He knows he's done it, and uh, what a great feeling that is. Uh, Mom <laughs> especially loves it. As Oklahoma goes two up, they only need one more point, and the national title is theirs. But Wyndham Clark, Riley Reinertson, Reinertson yet to lose this week. Wyndham Clark, the senior for Oregon, didn't go down without a fight. Par 5, 18, his second shot, he's staring it down. You can see that's a 7 iron, 192 yards, and this is a high quality golf shot. Took it right in there behind the hole. Uh, he would have that for Eagle, put all the pressure back on Reinertson. This match went back and forth, George, all day, and Reinertson didn't back down from what someone who could be the best player in college golf and Wyndham Clark. To bring him down to the 18th hole, I thought was a great job by Riley Reinertson, but just got unlucky there with a plug lie. Two putts for Wyndham Clark to win the match and put a point on the board for Oregon, and heck, yeah! Why not? Eagle three, fantastic stuff for Wyndham Clark. Finish with style. Absolutely. Came up big in the semifinal and the final for the Ducks, so now it is two to one. Oregon needing a big comeback in these last two matches, especially the anchor one, where Sulman Raza had never lost in match play in the NCAA championship. He was taking on Brad Dolkey, Oklahoma stud, who is the U.S. amateur runner-up a year ago. This was an easy putt, up and over a rise, but he made it look easy. Uh, that was one I just didn't think he had any chance of making a big, big putt at that point in the match. Big momentum swing. It was all square at that time. Dolkey goes one up. Raza on the 14th, tough lie in the bunker. There is some tough sand around this place. There's no doubt. I've never seen more plug lies in my life throughout the week for these guys. And just goes to show you that uh, even though I said at the beginning of the show that putting was going to be the key today, it was a little bit, but really today was all about ball striking contest. It was an absolute ball striking contest today for both these teams. Raza now two down on the 15th. He got a bad break, hit a pretty right. good shot, and it hit just past hole high, released to that transition there. He couldn't get the club cleanly on the ball. Now this to save his par. Looks good for about 95% mm. of the way and just dives low. So, Dalkey three up with three to play. Perfect there. After rolling that in. Let's move now to the 16th hole. Dalkey for par to win the championship. Oh man, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? But he's got one more chance because Sulman Raza. Raza to extend the match. This is Sulman Raza we're talking about. He's not going to go down without a fight, George. Raza, not gonna happen. Raza time. Champion does not go down easy, so he is two down with two holes left to play. This was a tee shot that he nuked a day ago. Wednesday, a different story, Charlie. Yeah, tough tee shot. One of the toughest on the golf course. Uh, trouble everywhere. Yesterday, he hit that uh, low slider in the heart of the fairway. This gets away from him to the right. Would get over there into the hay, the high stuff, in an impossible position. And you could hear him knows he's cooked off the tee with that lie. Raza now playing his third after punching to there. Yeah, he did. He could not keep it in the fairway. It was such a heavy lie. So now from the rough, trying to control it, just coming up short. Lucky to stay there. That could have come down into the water. So he's still alive because Brad's got this brutal pitch shot, George, from over the green. That was his third shot. That's a heck of a shot. That is a phenomenal shot. I mean, a lot of people look at that and think, oh, I didn't get near the hole. You guys are crazy. Seems a great shot. I'm telling you, that was a great shot where he put that he golf ball, especially that in, in that situation. Yeah. So Raza rolls this in for bogey. Dalkey has three feet to win a national title. Charlie Scott. And watch the authority that this putt goes into the hole with. I mean, that had some speed on it right there. That's a putt that he and his teammates, University of Oklahoma, will remember for a long, long, long time. You, the adrenaline was pumping a little bit over that one? I guarantee it was. It's still pumping right now. Uh, the celebration is on. Oklahoma Sooners win three and a half to one and a half as they defeat Oregon in the finale. Here's how the matches played out. Grant Hirschman, Ryan Gronlin were still on the course, all square playing the 18th. So that match was automatically halved. The finale means the Ducks are your national champs. Their head coach, Ryan Hebel, just spoke with Chantel McCabe.
Coach, your team is going in the history books, the second title for the school. As you came out onto the green and celebrated, what was that moment like with your team? <laughs> no, it's just it, I can't even put it into words. So these guys did such a great job all week long, and I'm just so happy for you know their efforts, their work. Uh, you know, it's it all. It's nice when when it when everything kind of comes back to you, right? And these guys did such a great job all week long, and we're so thankful for all the supporters that we have back home, all these Sooner fans that showed up today, uh, our great support staff, uh, Joe Castiglione, my boss Larry Nafee, uh our president, everybody that makes this happen so we can be successful. Um, you know, to be great at Oklahoma. All week long, you talked about the grittiness of your team. What did they show you today? You know, these guys just never quit. Uh, we got off to another pretty good start today, and, and, and I thought that was a good sign for our guys. They were in the moment. I saw all of them at some point during the day, and, and I felt like they were all feeling very, very normal. You know, they were tight at times, but at the end of the day, I felt like that they did a great job of handling the nerves and uh, just a, a phenomenal job today. Brad closed things out to get that third point and secure the victory. What has he meant to this team? Well, I mean, Brad, I mean, I had him in the five slot for a reason. You know, I wanted him to have to have, you know, make that point coming down the stretch. And he, and he did that uh, against our match, you know, with Baylor and then today. So, but you know what, all of our guys, I mean, Blaine got out and running and he did a great job. And Max got a point. Um, all these guys just, just did a great job. All right, we have two little visitors with us here. Your whole family came to watch. You flew them in last minute. I saw you on the phone to try to scramble. What is it like to share the moment with them? Oh, it's so special. You know, my family is always at the house. Uh, we travel a lot. Um, my wife is, is uh, definitely the rock of the family, and these girls, they mean everything to us. And, and uh, so we're, I'm just glad they got a chance to be able to be around it today. Congratulations. Now go celebrate. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Oklahoma is the national champion for the first time since back in 1989. They won that one in Edmond, Oklahoma. That year, Sooners, an in-state rival, Oklahoma State co-hosted the championships at Oak Tree. Charlie, you actually played in that one. <laughs> Programs come a long way to now win in a different format, the match play format, to get number two in school history. Yeah, you know, thinking back to 1989, uh, very much a different format, 72 hole stroke play. Uh, it was certainly an exciting event. I'm glad we got to play in it, but I really like this new format a lot better. You know, to me, it's just a ton of excitement. I just like the idea of, of uh, uh, competing for a national title, straight up, five guys against five guys, match play, and I, I think that the excitement we've seen since going to this format in 2009 has uh, really, really uh, been compelling to watch. I think it's great for junior golf, great for college golf, uh, and uh, really all golf fans. I mean, if you if you sit here and watch this golf the last three days and don't like it, you you got some issues, I'm telling you, folks. It's been a lot of fun to watch. Some of the best three days you're going to see all year. Without a doubt. And Aaron, what impressed you the most of how this Oklahoma team, which was a bit under the radar, yeah. Coming into the week at Rich Harvest Farms, more or less had the, the bullseye on them by the end, grabbing that two seed and knocked off. Yeah, they, they played the underdog role coming in here pretty well, I thought, uh, as the 17 seed on golf stat yeah. uh, basically throughout the year. Um, you know, the only seed lower than that to win it was Oregon last year at 20. So uh, I would say that the, the key for me today, though, was after Blaine Hale and Max McGreevy set the table, for it, they basically set the table for Brad Dahlke to, to do what I thought he was going to do today, and that's win it for the Sooners. And I, the, the big thing for me was after 9 and 10, when, when Brad Dahlke gave away those two holes and got all square through 11, this was huge. Every match, there's always a point, a turning point in every match. Something little, something big at times. This was huge. This, was a, this gave the momentum and gave Brad Dahlke the, the thing that he needed, the spark that he needed to carry on, and probably put a little dagger. When you make a long putt like that or chip in in match play in a crucial situation coming down the stretch, that just sends just the slightest little needle, and in some cases a gigantic knife right through the gut of your opponent, and it's hard for those guys to recover. And Solman Raza did the best he could. He didn't have his A game. Neither did Brad Dahlke, quite honestly, but he was able to gut it out, and that putt was the reason why he was able to get it done. It gave him the momentum he needed coming down the stretch. The other thing that happens is it sends a jolt of energy through your own teammates. Exactly. I mean, even if you can't see a scoreboard uh, or know exactly what happens, you can feel it out there. I mean, you, you can absolutely, when one of your teammates does something big, it's just the energy changes, mm -hmm. and, and, it, and it has a major impact on your attitude and how you feel. Suddenly you're walking a little more upright absolutely. to that next Absolutely. We're going to get feel, this done today. You feel yeah. like you got the momentum, mm -hmm. and hey, let's make a party of this and win a national title. Speaking of a party, coming up, we have the national champions coming right here on our set. The Oklahoma Sooners and head coach Ryan Hibble 
are going to share this championship moment with us right here at Rich Harvest Farms. Plus, the dash cam video has been released in Tiger Woods' arrest for driving under the influence. You're going to see that straight ahead. Golf Central is brought to you by Titleist, the number one ball at the Men's NCAA Championship. GolfAdvisor.com, ratings and reviews by golfers for golfers.